my farming friends, welcome to France. Yes, I'm gonna say France because Sophie and I have been here for about a month now and I still can't even pronounce where the hell I am. So I'm gonna say France. I am in France. Found Sophie in France. Sophie wanted to start a vineyard. She wanted to stop some grapes, make some wine, and have happy times. So we are in France, but it's good to be here. I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm just out in my little Volkswagen here doing a little countryside driving. Gotta go down to the shop because I have my last piece of equipment came in down at the dealership, so I'm gonna pick that up. But it is March, March 1st today. Holy crap, March 1st. 11.27 in the morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful day, I'm telling you. Absolutely beautiful day. Sun is shining. Oh, things are just, things are lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But anyways, I gotta tell you, Sophie got on the World Wide Web. Got on the World Wide Web when we were back there in uh, New Zealand. And she was finding farms across the country. I said, let's go back to the States. She said, oh, I don't know if I want to go back to the States yet. So she chose this place here in um, in France. <laughs> I could be like Kamala Harris. I could pretend to talk in France, right? Anyways, uh, that's a nice little Volkswagen. We, we picked that up down at the car dealership. That's my little tooting around car. I like it. Tooting around car. But anyways, holy crap, what am I stuck on? Get away from my car. There we go. Holy buckets, I got stuck on the car. Anyways, down here at Armand Motos, I got to pick up the last piece of machinery. It's sitting out back here. I'll have to come back and get my car. But anyways, Sophie got on the World Wide Web and found this farm in France here. And it was run by an older gentleman who was a parachute tester. I mean, you want to put this down in your resume. What do you do for a living? I am a parachute tester. Yeah, he built his own parachutes. So he climbed up the Eiffel Tower to test his new parachute. And it somewhat worked, and he survived the fall. I mean, believe it or not, he survived the fall, but after he got back up, he got ran over by a horse. It was a crazy, crazy deal. Anyway, I got the Landini here. I got a Landini and a little Moucher. This is our vineyard. Why am I walking like a goofball? Our little uh, Landini and uh, Moucher for our vineyard work. This is the last tractor that came in. The last month, we have been stocking up on our uh, equipment. Oh, look at that. I got a nice blue hat on. Oh, I'm a good-looking guy. And I, got, I got matching blue shoes. Fancy. Fancy, 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 fancy. But yeah, this is going to be our vineyard tractor. Little, it's tight and narrow in here. I had to lose some weight to be able to fit in here. But holy crap! Get down to the farm. It's going to be a busy day. We have got, um, well, we got plants. We got, we got plants. We got plants. We got crops that we got to consider starting getting in the ground here. It is March, so I'm trying to get used to the uh, planting calendar, the planting window. You know what, what we can do, where, what we can do, how, this, when, why. And I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to get two crops off in one year. I don't, it, it, it's, it, it's a scary thing. I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to try it, but I don't think I'm going to quite do it. So with that said, holy crap, why is my time so down there so bad? Holy buckets, moron, man, get up there. There we go. So Sophie found this little farmstead. Oh, we, we've been doing some work. We've been doing some fixing up. Got the house fixed up. She's inside there. Doing some work on that, getting the garage cleaned up, getting the garage put away. But it's a nice little house. We got the vineyard in the back. I got some greenhouses. I think Sophie's got some uh, strawberries, lettuce, and some mottos. I don't know what I don't know what she's got going on. She's in charge of that. But we got olive oil and we got uh, vineyards. So I've been trying to get everything organized to work on the vineyards. I read the book, uh, Vineyards for Dummies. So we have that. The best thing about this vineyard, why she chose this one, is because we have our own little uh, winery. Is that what he called it? You call it a winery? We can make our wine, use, use our grapes and make our wine. So we got that going on. Um, we put up some bins. They, they, these weren't, here was an old, old, um, kind of like an old, old grain silo kind of thing. We tore that down, put some bins in there. And the shop was here. So they, they built that shop about five years ago. Pretty nice shop. And the greenhouses, and everything else was kind of here. So oh, I did bring in some storage tanks. So we got all our equipment lined up. We were all ready to go. Everything has been delivered now. The only thing that I don't have, and I've been waiting for one to go on sale down at the... Uh, at the dealership is a uh, harvester. The problem is, because we have both grapes and olive oil, the problem with that is they take separate harvesters, you know, and that, that's big That's big bucks, no whammies right there. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. Because we already have a loan. I'm thinking how much how much money, oh, thank you very much for saving so conveniently. Yeah, we had to take out a loan of 150 grand to get, get going here. We had a little over 700,000, we had to borrow some more. To, to stock this thing up. So we spent more money than we intended to. Oh, that hot air balloon up there. Holy buckets. Anyways, so I think my, my goal is, well, we have the field across the road there. I had that lime spread. So we got that one done. And then we have two fields here, both to the south of the bins and in the, uh, the winery. So 
The problem is I want to do corn and sorghum. Corn and I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm thinking about even getting into potatoes. I'm thinking about getting into potatoes, and I want to get some potatoes maybe across the road there, and then get some bees. Get some bees to pollinate my potatoes. Oh, that, that's a lot of work, and that's going to be a lot of work, and I don't know if I'm into that yet. But first thing first, I thought I would, mean the tractor came into the dealership, I thought I would go in. I got to get this these um, vineyard. What do you call it? V vineyard? The vineyard? The, vi the vines? I got to get them mulched, and then I got to get them subsoiled up. So ready to go in that department. That's kind of my next thing here. I got to get that done, and then I suppose get some fertilization on them in the near future here. But um, they're growing. Oh, I already have 39%. So that's kind of my theory, but... Sophie's busy inside work, and I told her I'm going to work on the grapes here a little bit, so I'll hop into this tractor, and we'll do that right away. I don't think I can do this in, well, I don't know, we'll just kind of go over here. And I, I tell you what, I have never been in this, this is the skinniest tractor that I have ever been in. I'm telling you, this thing is something else. This thing is just, I, I had a special order it. So, let's turn on my mulcher here. We'll drop that down, there you go, holy buckets, look at that, look at that thing go. Are we, are we even doing anything? I don't even think we're doing anything. Okay, no, I don't think we're doing anything. No, I don't think we're doing anything. Holy buckets, I can cruise up and down these rows here. Do I have to subsoil? I wanted to mulch it first. Maybe I don't have to mulch it. I can't, oh crap, I'm a, ter I'm a terrible wine guy. I'm, I'm a terrible vineyard operator guy. I was pretty sure that I wanted to mulch this first before I hook up to the, the little subsoiler thing, but maybe I don't have to do this. Maybe this has already been done for me. Hmm, hmm. I already have the grass growing here. Yeah, I don't think I need to do this. I think I'm just wasting my time here. Um, I'm gonna get to the end here. One thing you really can't do is you can't get, get out in the tractor in the middle of the wind. Yeah, I don't think I really need to do that. Let's just turn that puppy off there. Holy crap, that thing is loud. Loudest thing on the farm. See, I'm getting stuck on the tractor. Yeah, maybe I just, oh, I already got the grass growing there. Um, Going to my little specialty thing here. Let's see, specialty thing, specialty thing. Uh, blue, 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 blue. My fancy little app here. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't have to do all that. Cause they are growing. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. It's got fertilizer on there. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I got I got to go back and read the book. I got to go back and read the book. I got to try my little subswinger thing. Let's just go up there and do that. I thought I had to mulch this thing. Holy crap, my, my walking skills are crappy today. Hey, look at that. I even got a license plate. Min Mini. Min Mini. This is my Min Mini tractor. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So if that's... I don't have to do anything with them. If I don't have to do anything with them, I wonder about the owls. Uh, that's probably all done too then. I was under the impression that the uh, previous owner's estate... Um, told me that I should really do this, but I don't think I have to. I think it's already done already. Well, we'll go in here. I'm just gonna hook up to my little um, other little thing. Oh crap! Look at this! Look at this! I got, I got, I got a little, I got a little, I got a Porsche. I got a Porsche. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's just a beautiful tractor. Yep. We uh, that actually came with the farm. We uh, talked him into letting us stay here. I was, I loved that thing so much. I said, I want that. I want that baby. I want that baby. We'll pull into the shop here. I'll give you a little shop tour. A little shop tour, as we. Um, Come on, let's walk. Something wrong with my feet today. I can't. I can't. I can't move. Why can't I move? I can't walk at all. This is terrible. I can't. I. I, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Anyway, I might as well unhook this thing. I could hook up to that little thing and see if that makes a difference. But maybe I don't have to because they're already growing. Um, let's see. Let's just put this right here. Yeah, there's our fancy little vine vineyard sprayer there. I, I had to buy that. I had to get that from. Um, I can't remember where we got that from, to be honest with you. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we'll just trap the tractor. So, we got ourselves a little Deutz Fahr combine. We got a, a Steyr tractor. We got a McCormick. Those are our, that's our big, big, big boy. That runs all the um, the big stuff. We got a nice little Steyr there. Oh, I, I kind of like this tractor, too. I found this used down on another little farmstead down there, so that worked out pretty good. I wonder if I should try my little thing here, if I need to do that or not. I can't remember. Um, man, I suck at this. I, I, I really, I, I am a crappy farmer. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna worry about that. I, th I think they're growing, they're just fine. So I'm gonna hop into the McCormick. Oh, this is a fancy tractor. This is a fancy, dancy tractor. Uh, we got some good power in this. 310 horsepower this McCormick is. I, I've, never had, I've never owned a McCormick. First time owning a McCormick. You gotta watch out when you pull out here. These, these uh, the French, I tell you what. Besides being uh, the women are hairy, I tell you what, they um, they drive like uh, bat out of heck. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna hook up to the Jimpa here. 
I'm gonna go across the road. I don't think I need to really technically plow it, but I'm going to anyways. And then I'll have to, I was thinking about buying that. There was one right there. I was thinking about buying a, um, a rock picker because next back behind the, uh, the grape house, we have a, um, a, a, a crusher, a rock crusher. We have our own rock crusher on the farm. So I was thinking about buying one, but they're, they're actually kind of expensive. Holy crap, are they expensive. Nice little river down here. Oh, I, I, I went fishing down there the other day. I caught myself some nice big fish. Sophie cooked them up and we ate them. Oh, it was absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oop, crap, I, I drove a little bit too far there. There we go. I got to get GPS installed in these tractors. We don't have GPS installed in these tractors yet. But I'm thinking, if I plow this... And then uh, I'll, pick, I'll, get, I'll pick up the rocks because our rock crusher produces lime, so we can get a little bonus out of that. And then, um, let's see. I have a big mulcher. I use that. I'm going to use that on our grain, on our, our um, just try to stomp off the uh, straw. I'll use that. We got a little cultivator. Then we also have a little disc harrow, too, to make a nice seed bed. So we, ha we have the implements to do a fantastic job out here on these fields, but I was contemplating doing potatoes here. I really was. Now, the problem with that is, see, here's my... Um, Here's my growing calendar. So technically right now, I cannot plant wheat or barley until September and October. So basically I was gonna do corn and sorghum and potatoes. Potatoes I can start planting right now. I'd have to lease a potato planter. I don't, I don't own a potato planter. That's gonna be a big business. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just leery on doing it. They grow a lot of potatoes here in France, but I'm just, I'm, I'm leery doing that. And sorghum and corn, I can't plant until April. You know, we, we're, we're only into March here, so. It would be a potato. Oh, crap. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. I dropped my plow down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see how that works. That oh, works pretty good. That works pretty good. Okay. Come on, tractor. Fire up there. Holy buckets. Eight miles an hour we're doing. Look at that. Oh, get over there a little bit. I want to make sure I get the whole field. Get over there a little bit. Yeah, this McCormick. I was thinking that when I ordered this plow down to the dealership, that was going to be a little bit too big. And they said, ah, that McCormick will do it. I said, okay. Put a weight in the front. So I got a weight in the front. I got I got wheel weights on the on the tractor. Well, oh, yeah, look at that. We're, we're going to beat heck here. We are going to beat heck. Now, the problem is, like I said, man, that thing's working. That thing's working. Um, I'm going to have rocks to pick up. I'm going to have to lease a rock picker upper machine here. Jobby thingy. Oh, bummer. Bummer, 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 bummer. Cause I was gonna I was gonna plow it, pick up the rocks, and then I was gonna come by with my disc carol. And uh, that, that was kind of my thinking, so I might just have to do that. I might just have to do that. Fifty-five thousand bucks, I think a uh, rock picker is. Yeah, for the for the nice size one. And then and that's McCormick, I would easily pull that rock picker. That rock sucker up machine, yep. It would easily uh easily pull that so that would work out pretty good now the other thing i gotta tell you is um giants i don't know what the what the heck their problem is but volume sounds are so low so i went into the xml files and i raised them up so hopefully you're getting a little little um tractor volume sound i really really hope so i raise it up quite a bit um standard was uh oh shoot what happened there why is why is my uh why did my plow decide to take out my grass there? What the heck is going on with you? I don't have that thing. Oh, how in the heck did I do that? It automatically came on. I'll have to fix that later. Oh, crap. I have to plant some grass here. I was wondering, why in the heck am I, uh, am I plow? I suppose I could um, extend it out here a little bit. I suppose I could do that. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. i got to plant grass there now. Oh, that sucks. I didn't, want, I didn't want to do that. I like this nice straight edge. I, I, I'm OCD about it. You know, I'm anal about it. I like nice straight edges, but which is kind of odd because uh, sometimes I like the twisty turvy fields. But There you go. I'm going to do a couple of headland passes here. I can fix that a little bit later. Oh, get that thing out. I hate that window open there. So that was my plan, but now, my, well, my plan was to work on grapes, but I suppose I should get this thing fixed up. I gotta decide if I'm gonna plant potatoes. I gotta decide if I'm gonna do some taters. I don't know anywhere in the local area that has a, that produces french fries or anything. I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything around there like that, but, I mean, man, I could put some bees in it. But then again, uh, you know the thing about it is, 
there is really no like crop rotation so far no there's no such thing as like crop rotation anymore so i could just you know you don't want to plant potatoes over and over again in the same field uh that would be that would that wouldn't be very good but i don't know holy crap i really could extend this field all the way down there couldn't i i really could this uh jimpa would do it well it kind of gets down to the lowland down there drainage area where all the water yeah maybe i don't want to do that all right yeah that would be a little hilly down there look at all those undulations in the ground there but i don't know i don't know i got lots to carry on with i got a lot to think about i, I thought i had this all figured out my friends i thought i knew exactly what i was going to do i was going to do but then i realized i didn't have to do that vineyard work i was thinking that i had to do that vineyard work get that mulcher out there get that subsoiler out there thing my jobby and, and go to town but i don't have to do that i suppose now i just got to worry about getting my uh, fields done but uh I'll tell you what, I'll carry on with this for a little bit, and um, I'll be back with you folks later. wrapping up the uh, plowing here on this field still haven't decided about potatoes <clears throat> welcome back to the indecisive series no i'm i'm serious uh i don't know yet <laughs> i don't know i don't know man potatoes it's so much work but it could be kind of fun i mean it could be kind of fun so we'll see what happens but i gotta go i want i would like to buy a rock picker i would like to buy one i'd have to borrow some more money from the uh france Fr france credit union uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh man, fifty. How much are they? I think they're like fifty-nine thousand bucks. Rock pickers. I don't. I, I want this one here. That one. Fifty-two thousand. I have twenty-two. I thought I wanted thirty thousand dollars. I don't know how I feel about that. Buying that. They have one down at the dealership that I could pick up. Um, oh, the other thing is, hey crap! I, I made some money. I went out and I did a uh, contract. I went out and did a contract for some cultivating earlier for. Um. um Jean-Luc Van Damme, he's a local farmer here. So I got that one completed so I can collect that. It's only 1200 bucks, but it's better than nothing. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing some more work for him. So that, that would be helpful in the money bank. So, but what I want to do is I want to get these, these stones picked up, the rocks picked up, and I want to put them into our crusher. And then what I want to do is um, get my uh, disc carrow. And I want to run my disc carrow over here and make a nice seed bed for planting. Now, like if I if I did potatoes, I don't own a potato planter, so that would have to be something that'd have to be leased. And down the road, I don't own any potato harvesting equipment. That would have to be leased, so it would be it would be kind of a big job. Maybe down the road, I eventually could. Let's see, I think where that field. I probably could purchase that equipment if I can if I can get some generate some income. Now, from what I understand, is um, the uh, strawberries, tomatoes, and uh, lettuce are going to make us a good income here at the. Uh, at the greenhouses so i'm kind of looking forward to that and we should have some pretty good income with our wine so we do have income coming in down the road but until then it's kind of uh it's kind of a hit and miss thing let's just park this uh plow back up luckily when we bought this place uh, the other fields are kind of ready to go so we got kind of lucky in that department but holy crap trees are oh crap trees are in my way trees are in my way Oh, sorry, sorry, White. Free is driving, but don't mind me. I'm just putting my plow away. Just uh, never mind. Hold your horses. Impatient French drivers, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'll put that down. Holy crap, it's sucking the ground there a little bit. There we go. Okay, that is taken care of. So now what I have to do is go down to the store. We need a vehicle collision. Ma, we, we do. I mean, that's just, it's driving me nuts. So we'll head back up to the store. I'm like, I don't know. Should I buy one? I probably should because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using it all the time. And in the long run, in the long run it's probably better off so maybe i should just bite the bullet and borrow more money and buy one i think we, we you know sophie and i we spent way too much money getting this little farm up and running than we intended to so it's one of those things now 
Some of you can ask, how come you guys didn't go? How come you guys didn't go to the U.S. to some area called Elm Creek? Well, matter of fact, my friends, uh, Elm Creek is up on the uh, up on our server, up on our multiplayer server. So we've done some live streams on there on Twitch. There's about six or seven of us that are pretty active on it. So, if you're interested in Elm Creek, I know it seems like everybody is is uh, busy with Elm Creek these days. So check out a live stream. I'll put the Twitch link in the description and also the Discord link in the description. So we have our um, our trucking and our gaming coalition over there in Discord. So I'm, I'm trying to slowly transfer over to that Discord. So I'll put the links to that. Check that out. We'll do some um, we'll do some streaming on YouTube as well. But I suppose I better buy I better buy one. I I, I don't Armand Motors. You bet. Okay, got that all hooked up. Thanks, Armand. Nice doing business with you. I ended up upping our loan up to two hundred. Oh man, two hundred thousand dollars already. We we are two hundred grand into the hole, and we're not even fifteen minutes into this shindig. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness, would some people be mad at me? But anyways, we'll leave it there as it is. I mean, what what do you do? What do you do, my friends? It takes money to make money, right? Go big, go home. Yep, got to become a farmer. It takes money to be a farmer. And this is all investment in the farm, to be honest with you. It's just all investment. Yep, it's going to work out pretty good. We'll just turn here back up to the farm. We'll pull into this field here. And I am going to get all these rocks picked up. I did fix my little corner there. That cost me a little bit of money, too, there. Let's see, lower that down. This is another This is another slow process. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Some people don't like rocks. And I and I totally get it. <laughs> and, I, and I thought I was one of them, but it's a new thing. And we'll just have some fun doing it and see and see how good it goes. But yeah, once I get these um, rocks picked up out of the field here, then I can run my disc carrow over it and be ready for planting. We'll have a nice little seed bed produced there. Things will be good. Life is good. Ah, oh, man, look at that. What time is it? Holy crap, it's 1.38 in the afternoon. Time is just flying by here. Time is just flying by. And, and in case you're curious, uh, we do have two days per month. So I am going to try that out at first. And second year if it gets to be too long. But I'm thinking that's pretty good. Time's at 3. I feel like I could put time at five for two days. But tomorrow, we'd have to get our uh, corn and our sorghum in the ground. We'd have to get that planted tomorrow. And I'm still leery about it because if I did plant potatoes, corn, and sorghum now, I wouldn't have a wheat or barley crop this year. Unless I can unless I can get it harvested and get the field flipped over and get it, get it, get it turned in there. But otherwise, I wouldn't have a wheat, a small grain crop, as I'm trying to say because then and plant late in the year and if I, my crops aren't ready to be harvested and blah 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 you know what I probably should have done you know what maybe I should even do that now maybe I should uh, finish up these rocks here and well no what, what is the what is the planting I can't plant them now according to the planting winder 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 the window uh corn 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 there's sorghum yeah not until April and corn not until April so I can't do that anyways so think about this I'm corn here if I planted it in April, would I be able to harvest it in October? Because that's the first day of the harvest window. And then I could turn around and I could get wheat and barley planted. So that would work if that does work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Vern? So there is a possibility that that, that that actually would work. So I thought I was thinking that today was the first day. But no, that, yeah, yes, tomorrow. Two days. tomorrow, two day, The two days in April. But if I get it planted on the first day of April then I should be able to get it harvested the first day of October. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we're just going to give that a shot. For the, you know, if I don't have a small grain, I don't have a small grain. You know, if, if I don't have... But eventually down the road, I'd like to build a cow shed. So I wouldn't need to be stocking up on straw and stuff like that. I don't, I don't have a grass field either. There's lots of things that I would need to do in order to get cows and beef cattle. Beef cattle. I think, I think beef cattle. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of beef... Well, no, we could do, we could do milk. I could, get, I could get half and half. But man, I'm telling you, after the after the kiwi farm, we had animals all over the place, and I I didn't, I didn't seem to make a whole heck of a lot of money. I made some money on milk, I'll, I'll grant it that. But holy crap, how long did it take? Forever and ever and ever. And my dairy sheep, that that was those those things were dumb. I had stupid dairy sheep, but it is what it is. Let me finish this up, and we'll kind of go from there. And yeah, then I got well, then I got I got I got on the disc curl over this thing too yet though. So I got I got that yet. I got a lot of field work left to do at 3:46 in the after 3:46, 1:46 in the afternoon. Oh, lots to do, lots to do. 
Nothing better than a little rock picking. A little rock picking, country boy can survive. I'm telling you, this is, job is done. Now, I have been thinking as I'm sitting here in the McCormick tractor driving back and forth in this wonderful field, picking up all these wonderful rocks. I should have just had my damn kid do it. Anyways, what if we put in some more vineyards? Screw the potatoes. That's a, that's a big, expensive adventure to get into, and so, so it would be some more vineyards. But we have most of the equipment. We don't have a harvester. We don't have a pruner yet. I don't, have a, I don't even have a trailer yet either. Holy crap, I'm thinking that I was all ready to go. I'm not. I'm missing a bunch of stuff. But the way I look at it, if I put in some vineyards here, it would cost an absolute fortune. An absolute fortune. Because I'm thinking, let me lift this up and I'll shut this thing off here. If I roll, man, could you imagine if I had this whole field as a vineyard? Holy buckets, could we make some money? But the problem is, it's going to cost me a fortune. If I went into the vineyards, if I if I bought myself some vineyards, and uh, wait, what, what am I doing? Orchard, there you go, there you go, there you go. So if I went, let's just go over to the far corner over here. We'll start over there. Get over there. Come on. Could go a little faster. So if I ran a strip, let's see. Holy crap, that was zoomed in. So if I started there in the corner, and I went all the way down to the end here, Holy buckets, look at that. 15,435 bucks a strip. So, <laughs> holy crap. That's a lot of money. I can, I can do one strip now. So how much would it take me to do, cover the whole field? I'd have to borrow more money. I'd have to borrow a lot more money. And I don't even know if I can borrow that much money. But what I want to do, regardless of what I want to do, and I have to do this with other fields too, is, um, holy crap, I thought I turned that thing off. Sorry about that. I thought I'd turn that off. Let's fold that up. I'm going to go drop these rocks off in our, like I said, fold it up. There you go. And I'm going to drop my rocks off and get some lime produced out of that. But man, that would be cool. Have a big vineyard like that. I was thinking I already had a nice big vineyard, but if we had another field of big vineyard, holy buckets. I mean, why not? We're here We're here to grow Sophie's wine. I mean, she's already, she's got beer. She's got hemp. Why not, why not add, add uh, wine to the repertoire of things that Sophie does? Man, that would be that'd be a big bite. And then I figured it out. I didn't have to do any mulching or I didn't have to do any uh, cultivating until this grass grows a little bit. So maybe the second day of March, maybe into April, I'll have to do some um, vineyard maintenance work. So that's why I didn't have to do that right away. The grass hasn't grown up there. So that's that's that. That's that. That's that. So we'll go back here past my little auger here. We'll get to the... Um, see, I got to get the seed bed ready for this field here too. I have a lot of work left to do. Holy crap, I got a lot of work left to do. We'll just back up here to my little, uh, my rock crusher, my rock crusher slash lime production facility there. Oh man, this thing's gonna be awesome. I can get some lime out of all these rocks. What time I do something with these rocks, you know what I mean? Get your rocks off, baby, get your rocks off. Yeah, that should empty into there, hopefully. I'm not putting a big pile on the ground there. Ah, oh, there we go. Empty that thing out now. New pe oh crap, you know what? I don't even have a power washer yet. Holy buckets, I don't have a power washer yet. I gotta get a power washer. Well, let's get this thing put away. I do want to get my uh, disc carrow out. I want to make a nice seed bed. I think if I make my nice seed bed, I can get another uh, like another five percent of my yield there. So I want to do that. I'm getting I'm getting pretty uh, good thing I have a big enough building for crying out loud, huh? Holy crap, man! Um, I'll just stick this thing in the corner here. Oh, I dropped my little landini. Oh, I love that thing. Oh, I love the thing. It was, it was a tough question to get the landini. Or get the uh, little mini fence tractor. But I went with the landini. I went with the landini. Yeah, we'll just park this right here in the corner. That's a good spot for that. We'll use that probably again next year. Get that thing unhooked. The jack stand down. There you go. Now, I need my. Um, I need my. Uh, doo -doo. There it is. That's it right there, isn't it? Cedar. No, that's my planter. Holy crap! Where is my disc carrow? Um, isn't that it? That's my disc carrow right there. Yeah. Where is my, uh, oh, cedar planter. Okay, I'm thinking, I gotta get, I gotta know. My, my buttons are not working. I can't walk, I can't look, I can't do anything. It's really starting to tick me off. My mulcher there. So, get my disc carrier all hooked up here. Drop for the land. I mean, look at the size of that thing compared to you just sitting here. Look like a little toy tractor. Looks like a little toy truck. I haven't found any of the uh, fancy stuff that you can find on this on, on here yet. Um, Elm Creek we did, but not here. Where am I going? Oh, we'll just drive around the farm here then. I'm anxious to see what my greenhouses are going to pay. I, th I think that's, I think there's going to be big money in that greenhouses. 
A lot of vegetables are growing in France. A lot of vegetables. Holy crap, it's bumpy. Well, you gotta watch all coming out here too, these French drivers. Holy, holy buckets. This is, oh, see, there, oh, crap, sorry about that. That was your fault, dig it. I almost said it. I gotta be careful what I say here. Oh, man, oh, man. Well, he drove off, hitting her on there. Anyways, so I am gonna quickly discarol this field here. And I got the other ones to discarol too as well. Uh, this will get me a nice seed bed. I should get some more. Uh, but now if I put down vineyards, I wonder if I even have to do this if I put down the vineyards. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. I have no idea what I'm doing. There. That looks nice. Holy crap, we can just really cruise. We can do speed, speed disc carol this thing. I should have bought a bigger one if I'm using this tractor, but this one will also work behind my styre. So if this tractor is being used, you know what I should have been doing? I should have had Sophie come out with a styre, and she could have been following behind me as I was picking up the rocks. I don't know why I didn't do that. But that's making a nice seed bed there. We should have the, um, yep, see it? Nice little seed bed color there. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I wonder how much a bigger one is. I wonder how much a bigger one is. I maybe should have bought a bigger one. Size doesn't really matter, though. No, size doesn't really matter. It's how you wiggle it. There, that looks pretty good. I'm getting that. That, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Can you even tell? It? Am I doing anything here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice seed bed prep. Seed bed prep there. Um, no, I don't know stones there. I just picked up all the... This thing doesn't create stones. So we got that going for us. Now, um, I'm going to have to make a decision on what, what to put in here. I, 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 the problem is, if I did... You know what? I should probably do a little headland. I'll do, I'm going to do a little headland here. If I did put vineyards in here, that's going to... You know, I could do half the field in vineyard and I could plant the other half. But there would be no sense in doing big potatoes in here because... Oops, it was already done. Because, I mean, you'd have to do a lot of potatoes to justify the equipment and even the equipment rental. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just don't know. You know, the problem is it's all going to come down to if I can get my corn and my sorghum off and get my wheat and barley in the ground yet, too. That's going to be, that's going to be the other question, too. That's going to be the other question, too. But man, a I'm, I'm big, big vineyard like this, that would be pretty cool. I wonder how much money. Okay, let's just, you know what? Go big, go home, right? How much money could I borrow? Let's see, I've already, I already owe two hundred thousand. I'm just wondering, um, how much money could I possibly borrow in total? Half a million? Man, I mean, half a million debt? Yeah, half a million. I'm gonna think about that. I wonder how many vineyards I could put down in this field for a half a million, for a half a million dollars. Holy crap! Ah, oh, man, if Jacinta B saw me now, I tell you what, she would actually. I mean, I, I literally think she would she would kick my butt. I, I really think that she'd come with a baseball bat or something and say, my God, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, whatever happened to just struggle? Just struggle? Well, I am struggling. I am. I mean, I'm getting my fields ready to go. I am doing that. I always thought it'd be kind of fun just to like start off with five bucks. Just start off with five bucks and a trailer house and then see how, see how far you can go. But maybe one day. One day we'll have to do something like that. But I, I, for the first map of um, FS22, no, I, I can't. Maybe when we start getting maps out here, we'll, we'll find one that would. Uh, you know what would be a good one, I think, to do? Um, maybe you can give me your suggestions. I think maybe the Old Stream Farm. Because I know that Black Sheet Mining is, is working on that for FS22. But to um, maybe do that one, you start off with like five bucks. I don't know. I don't know. Because it'd have to be a small, I don't know. You wouldn't do it like on Welker Farms, for instance, or um, land down under or something like that. No, I mean that would just be that'd be crazy. You know how much how much contracts you'd have to do to get to be able to buy one field. So I, I don't I don't know. It is what it is. But it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Let me just go j jump ahead here. Let me um, get this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put more vineyards in here. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go big on the vineyards. I have, I've never done grapes, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some grapes for for uh, Sophie's wine, the Chateau de Min we call it. That's what we're calling it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then it'll be interesting to see. Uh, come on, go down. It'll be interesting to see how much it's cost if I did vineyards in this whole field. Holy crap, that'd be a lot of money, wouldn't it? But 
I'll, I'll, I'll get this done, and I'll be back with you shortly, my friends. All righty, my friends, I got Sophie in the tractor. She got some stuff done in the house, and she wanted to come out and drive a little tractor. And then I put in some vineyards. I've been doing that. Uh, so it was down to 61000 I maxed everything out for 500000 bucks. 61 left. It was getting to be about $22,000 a run. So we spent a quite a bit of money, but we got all these put in. So this is looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking it. I think it was a good idea, better than taters. So what I'm going to do is once Sophie gets done just carrying this field, this will be a nice seed bed here, and then I can use the other half of the field I'll put in a crop. I'll put in a crop. Um, probably sorghum. I'll leave a little space here on the end enough to get my tractor back down, down and forth. So then I'll start seeding some corn, sorghum, or whatever we're going to put in here. It wouldn't be that bad potatoes either. But, you know, just thinking about it here, if you look at it, um, potatoes. Potatoes. I mean, 300 bucks a liter. Man, that's just so much money invested in a potato operation. You know, if we did that, maybe down the road we could do that. I'm also going to look here to see if the local job board had any um any good oh i could do some sewing i could do some sewing i use my own equipment maybe i should do some sewing contracts let's see there's field 11 and 19 i could sew both of those they want oh i don't potatoes in that one no thanks i could use their own equipment but then i lose about a thousand bucks plus i got a few by the by the seed, seed for excuse me i got the hiccups here all of a sudden I could plant sunflowers. I have a little planter in field field 19. Where is field 19? It's probably the biggest damn field on the map. And my planter is only a uh, four-row planter. 19. Where is 19? Holy crap, up there. I could maybe do that contract tonight. That's that's a little extra money in the bank there. And then I could do 36. I could plant oh sugar beets. I, I, if I do my planter, I could do maybe I'll, I'll do some contract here. I'll take I'll take the local farmers up on their offer. Cause Sophie. Because my uh, styre, yeah, my styre will um, will run my little planter. I have seed and fertilizer in my bin, so that would work out pretty good. I And Sophie could do the discarrowing on that field and get those other two fields discarrowed tonight because i, I got to get those done so we can get planting done right away tomorrow morning is the theory on that. So we have our olive trees grown. We, we put in a vineyard across the road there, spent some money doing that. Um... And then we got the vineyard here. We got our greenhouses, which are up and running. I don't think we have anything produced yet. I think I have it on storing. But, um, oh, let's uh, go into the menu here and take a look at our productions. Uh, the great, yeah, grape processing. We don't have any, uh, we're, it's, they, they, they call it grape juice, but it's Sophie's wine. Yeah, yeah they, call, they call it grape juice, but it's wine. Our large um, distributing. Now, distributing, it should, it should bring a pallet, shouldn't it? Um, does it have to be so many liters before it gets to be a pallet? Probably a thousand liters, maybe two thousand liters. So we're slowly getting some some stuff. We have one of the small greenhouses. We are producing uh, lettuce, just lettuce. In the the other small one, we're doing tomatoes and strawberries, and then the big one, we're doing tomatoes and strawberries. So that's the way we got it set up. We actually, whoa, is something not activated? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, okay, activated, 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 activated. Okay. So maybe tomorrow we'll have some product there. We could do that. I have this little trailer over here, this little flatbed trailer that I'm going to put the pallets on and we'll sell them. I didn't quite, I, 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 I thought I would like this one, but um, I haven't used it yet. But I like how low it gets to the ground. It's easy for the uh, little, um, well, we have our little um, our little front loader forklift thingamajabby over here. Yep, I, I can't even remember what they call it. They call it a uh, shafer, a shoffer, shafer. Yeah, so that thing's going to work out pretty good for our for our, our potato, for potato, for our vegetable garden. But everything else we got pretty good. Everything else, we um, we seem to be doing pretty good. And I don't know why my walking back and forward is not working. I'll have to fix that. Um, the only way I can walk is if I hit the other button too. So we'll have to fix out that. But we got lots to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do some. Oh crap! Yeah, so that's what I came here to do is get the tractor hooked up to the planter. Duh. Yep. Get the old styre fired up here. Ah, uh, I kind of like this tractor. It's kind of growing on me. I suppose I could. Um, I don't need the uh, loader on here, do we? No, let's. Um, we can just unhook the whole thing right here. It'd be a good spot for it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, we'll just leave that right there. Back up. Oh man, I'm a good-looking guy, ain't I? Ain't I a good-looking guy? Here 
we look up to the planner here. I thought I could take the extra tank with me too. Um, I wonder if that would work with my planner. Why wouldn't it work with my planner? My planner hooked up. Um, yeah. Won't it work? Yeah, I like this tractor. Yeah, that'll work. A little bit of an echo. A little bit of vibra vibration going on in this tire. Good clean tractor, though. Let's see, let's park over here. Um, let's open the cover. Why don't you get open the cover? Well, I wanted to open that cover. There we go. We'll put some seed in there. Oh. Holy crap, that didn't take long to fill that up. Holy buckets, look at that. It already filled up. Holy crap, Batman. Um, 200 liters is all I can get in this thing? Holy crap, I'm gonna be uh, going nuts. Oh, I could, could, I, could I put seed in the front one too? Or is that just fertilizer? Can I can I put seed in the front one? That, that would make more sense. I don't know if I can or not. We'll just give it a shot here. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. There we go. Get the cover back on that. Now I can. Now I can go to town. I wonder if I have to fertilize with that. Um, I'll put. Some, I wonder if I have to fertilize with that contract. Does it say fertilize? Hello, saving conveniently. Thank you very much. Um, where was I? Where was I going here? Field, field that one. There we go. We're gonna. No, oh, no. This one here. Uh, sunflowers. Maybe I don't have to. I'll fill it up anyways. But um, yeah, we're gonna accept that contract. I'm gonna do that. Field 19, I'll put some fertilizer here in this thing just in case, but I don't think I'd have to fertilize. Nope. Oops, crap, that's a liquid one. Gotta go over here. Gotta go over here. There we go. Yeah, we'll fill that up. Pulls the cover. There we go. All right. We're all set to go. Sophie's gonna finish that up. Then she's gonna work on the other two fields. I am gonna go to field 19. Which is uh, straight up the road. Straight up the road. Perfect. So we will do that. But anyways, I think we'll leave it there for the first one. I think we'll leave it there for the first one. But welcome to France. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do, do the uh, practice saying that. <laughs> I think the H is silent, isn't it? Like, like, ot, ot, ot I, I, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I've been listening to everybody say it. But everybody says it differently. <laughs> so I don't know what the proper way of saying it is. And get on to Google. I can Google it. Uh, I'll get our hazards and our beacon. Yeah, I'll get our beacon going there. And uh, we'll up to field 19 and get that planted with... Um, holy crap, what I planted again? Uh, sunflowers. Oh, crap, I better change this thing to sunflowers. There we go. Sunflowers is selected. Perfect. That's going to work just dandy. Just dandy and get paid for that contract. And then maybe I can just, maybe I can just keep doing some contract work and make some money and uh, pay off this debt because I am going to have to have some borrowing power or at least some money in the bank when it comes time to uh, harvest these grapes. I still have to buy a grape trailer. I still have to buy a pruner and I still have to buy a harvester. Actually two harvesters because I got to buy one for the olives and one for the grapes. I should I, 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 I should have just got I should have uh, got rid of the olives. Wait, that one just goes into town there. I don't want to go that one. Um, oh crap, where am I? Yeah, I want I want to keep going straight here. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have st stuck away from the olives and just went through the vineyard, but we'll give it a shot. Because this is whole. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, I can't really rip those things out because then it would cost me another fortune to put. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Uh, it's kind of dumb, but that's the way it came. That's the way it came. I don't know why that, uh, that farmer wanted to do it that way, but that's the way he did it. That's the way he dunked it. So, anyways, we'll leave it there for today. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, too, to my, United, my U.S. friends. Hope the Thanksgiving uh, turkey day went good for you. You don't feel so fat and hungover. I do. But uh, another, I got another turkey day today as you're watching this. I got another turkey day to go to. Holy crap. I had so many so many turkey days to go to. But anyways, um, hope you're enjoying FS22. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're, I mean, there are some glitches. There are some bumps and bruises. But um, it'll get better as the time goes on. And, and uh, make sure you catch us over on uh, Twitch and YouTube too for Elm Creek multiplayer live streaming thing going on there. Yep, I think there are people on the server right now. So I might have to jump on there and say hello and do a little farming. But, um, yeah, it's a good time. Am I still going the right way? Uh, oh, yeah, I got to go all the way up here to the end. All the way up here at the end. Holy buckets. 
Come on, little Steyer. The tractor that could. This is the tractor that could. Then we get sunflowers planted here and fulfill this contract and make uh, 10000 bucks. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Maybe I'll even get a bonus. Yeah, they should give me a bonus. They should give me a bonus. This field right here. Holy crap, this is going to take me a while. I'm going to be here for a while. Ain't I? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be here for a while. Holy buckets! Um, who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? I, you know what? When I was picking out equipment, I I thought to myself, I don't really need a uh, a huge planter. I don't have huge shields. I really don't need one. This is just about all I need, as I do. Holy crap! There's rocks in here. Oh man, you're wrecking my equipment with your stupid rocks. Oh, that's terrible. You know what? Also, I really like big differences. Um, the texture here. I love that seeding texture. That's the way that it it really does look like that in the real world. I love that. I absolutely think it's awesome. Man, the guy didn't pick up his rocks, and now I'm wrecking my equipment. Holy crap. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Oh, well. But that's the plan for the day. I'm going to finish this field up. I'm going to do the contract work. Sophie's going to do some disc harrowing. I'll see you tomorrow morning on the next one, and we'll have a little fun doing that. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Anyways, great, have a great weekend. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.